Hey guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're taking a look at the Jada Next Level 124 scale Batmobile from the 1989 movie Batman. Now, Jada has become one of my favorite companies out there releasing Batmobiles. They don't have the most varied line. Uh, they usually stick to the more iconic cars like the 66 and the movie versions of the Batmobile. But what they do produce in terms of detail, material, construction, and most importantly, price, is always top-notch. This is one of their next level releases, and those models always have something a little extra. You can see with this one, the major addition is the armored shell. That made it a must-have for me because the armored 89 is not a common design that we often see in model form. Now, I'm not sure how many they made, but it is labeled as a limited release. And the box really does have this collector's level quality. It comes covered in a sleeve with this big, beautiful image of the 89 Batman logo. And when you take the sleeve off, it reveals the packaging that we've seen with some of the other next level Batmobiles. The top of the box has another image of the Batmobile and the little die cast figure. And when you open it up, the two halves contain the two main parts to this Batmobile. You have the armored shell on this side, and on the bottom, the Batmobile itself is covered with a piece of plastic that also holds the little die-cast figure of Batman. And the Batmobile looks like the same model as the standard Jada release, but let's get everything out of the box and take a closer look. Now, I never actually did a review video for the standard Jada release of the 89 Batmobile. I've featured it in a couple of my other videos, but this next level Batmobile and the figure are basically the same as that standard release. The construction of the car is not exactly the same, but I'm sure this model will be familiar to some of you. The figure is the standard Jada Mini statue, and it has some nice recognizable detail for the size. The belt looks really cool there. It's all die-cast metal, but the cape and the cowl are this soft plastic, almost like rubber. Now, unfortunately, the inside of the cape has this massive print of the manufacturing information. I have no idea why they did that. Um, the figure is so small, so I suppose there was nowhere else to print it. I mean, I usually don't have many of these figures on display in my Batmobile collection, but, you know, if you did want to display it, I can see how that would be a major distraction. But you guys know me. I'm here for the Batmobile. And as we know, the original Jada release of this Batmobile is one of the best models of the 89 out there. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with this next level Batmobile in a moment, just to show you some of the minor differences. But if you have the standard release, then you already know that this one has an incredibly solid construction. The car has some decent weight to it because the main body is sculpted out of one sturdy piece of die cast metal. There are some plastic accents like the turbine on the front and then the, the window on the canopy there. The bottom plate is made from high-grade plastic and the wheels are made from rubber. And Jada just really nailed the dimensions of the sculpt and included some nice detail throughout. Of course, it does have some moving parts. Obviously, the wheels do roll. And much like the 118th scale Hot Wheels release, it has that cool feature where the gun turrets flip open. It's a cool design. And the canopy also slides open to reveal all of the intricate detail inside the cabin. In between the two uh, bat bucket seats there, uh, you have these levers and gear shifts. And you get all this fantastic sculpting on the dashboard. On the back end, around the afterburner, this part still opens up. And you have access to the turbo engine. Very cool. Now, the big addition with this next level Batmobile is the inclusion of the armored shell, or what some people call the cocoon covering. 
It's basically this sculpt of high-grade plastic that fits perfectly over the Batmobile. It's a tight covering, but it doesn't go all the way to the surface, so the wheels of the Batmobile can still roll. Let me take it off here so you can get a better look at it. What this really reminds me of is the Hot Toys release of the 89 Batmobile. I never really tried to add that one to my collection, but I do remember hearing about the armored covering with the Hot Toys and how some collectors experienced some tearing of the armored shell because it was made of a relatively thin plastic. This one by Jada definitely should not have that problem. The plastic covering feels very strong, and more importantly, the dimensions of the mold for the Batmobile and the armored shell are very screen accurate. It's basically the same size as the Batmobile, so about 9 inches or 23 centimeters from the front end to the tail fins. You have the various sculpted levels of the armor and the way it wraps around the Batmobile, and you have these sort of pinwheel designs around the tires. Of course, it's the same with the back end where the armor wraps around the afterburner. It's very cool, and I love the idea of having the armored Batmobile in this scale for my collection. Let's do a few side-by-side -side comparisons. I mainly want to look at a couple of the armored Batmobiles next to each other, but first, let's look at this next level Batmobile next to the standard Jada release. As I mentioned, the sculpt of this new next level is virtually identical to the standard release. The main difference is with the headlights and the tail lights. The standard release has the headlights painted on, whereas the next level actually has separate sculpted pieces in the headlights to give it a bit more realism. It's the same with the red tail lights. They're separate pieces of plastic. Now, some collectors may actually like the standard look a little better because the color of the painted lights really stands out. I think it's just a personal preference, you know? And since these are both the same sculpt, the armored covering will fit exactly the same way with both of these models. So let's look at the armored shell next to a couple of other releases. The first one is the 150 scale from Hot Wheels. This one has a decent sculpt, but it has always been a peculiar release because of the extreme weathering that they gave it. It doesn't look bad, and it's definitely a different choice that makes the model stand out in your collection. Hot Wheels actually has a 164 release of the 89 and Armored 89 Batmobiles, and those are very screen accurate. And I'll leave some pictures of those over on my Instagram account if anybody's interested. Another version of the Armored 89 that I have is the Subscribers Special from Eagle Moss. Now, I will say that I think the sculpt of the Eagle Moss is a little more accurate in the sense that there are more layers to the cocoon of the armor. But I do think that the Jada is more accurate in terms of the shape of the body. Again, I also love the fact that I now have a slightly larger scale version of the Armored 89 in my collection. In closing, I think this is another great release from Jada. I know that I've heard some collectors say that it's a little overpriced considering the Batmobile itself as well as the mini statue. They're basically the same model as the standard $20 release. As I pointed out, the Batmobiles are not exactly the same, but they are close enough that I can see why some people would say that. But you know, given the fact that there are minor differences in the construction of the Batmobile along with the armored shell and the collector's packaging, I personally think it's worth it. I compared this release to the Hot Toys set with the armored shell, and despite the differences in size, the Jada is far superior in terms of accuracy with the dimensions and the quality of the material. For my Batmobile collection, I also think it's great to basically have another version of the Armored 89. I know there are a lot of models of the 89 Batmobile out there right now, but what I would love to see is Jada releasing a 1 18th scale next level model of the 89 that has working lights, all the standard die cast metal features, as well as the armored shell. Wouldn't that be cool? You guys let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate you watching and taking the time to like and subscribe. So we've been looking at the Jada next level 124 scale model of the Batmobile from the 1989 movie, Batman. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.